Okay, so imagine this. You are a Roblox developer who wants to put a dumpster in your game, whether it be for aesthetics or, you know, as like a hiding place or something. So you go look on free models and you find this beautiful dumpster to put in your game. It, you put it in your game and you don't think much of it until five minutes later when you get a ban notification that looks like this saying that your account was deleted for creating, promoting, or participating in inappropriate behavior or content in violation of Roblox's terms of use. You think, no big deal, I'll just appeal it. They'll see that it was an honest mistake, right? Well, you try to appeal it, but of course, Roblox's uh, joke of an appeal system shoots you down without even so much as actually investigating the problem. I wish I could say that this was a hypothetical scenario, but unfortunately, this is actually happening to a lot of Roblox developers and even a few YouTubers who are trying to, to get thumbnails, and I'm going to explain why. But before I explain, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to this channel. It only takes two seconds, it's completely free, and if for some reason you you don't want to be subscribed to me later on, you can always click on subscribe, I won't judge. Anyway, as for, uh, as for the reason why people are getting banned because of a dumpster. Okay, this pretty much all stems from free models. For those of you who don't know what free models is, or for free models are, basically... You go into like Roblox Studio and there's this little tab that you can use to like search for like pre-made models that you can put in your games and stuff. A lot of games use them and it usually saves developers from having to like create brand new things. Basically it's a real time saver though it does sometimes lead to like uh, some pretty lazy uh, games uh, by like you know lazier developers. However these free models are extremely suspicious and shady. The thing is, like, a lot of people who use them are no stranger to the fact that they often contain, like, viruses and stuff. Basically, where you can put them in, in your game, and there's, like, this malicious script in them that pretty much gives, like, this hacker control of your game that they can either turn into a scam or something inappropriate to try to get you banned or whatever. Uh, they... I mean, it happened to a lot of YouTubers, like Flamingo. Like, I mean, I'm pretty sure that any of Flam a lot of Flamingo's fans probably remember that. And even a few people who might not have necessarily been fans. I mean, Grand Roblox did circumvent that by, like, warning people whenever a model has scripts. So that's somewhat uh, good. Though, honestly, I don't really feel it's, that it's, like, the main thing to fix that problem. Now, you might be wondering where the dumpster comes in. And, well, it's kind of in a similar vein, only instead of containing scripts, it's basically one of these... Basically, the thing is with free models is that from the thumbnail, you can only see the outside of it. Take one of these arcade cabinets, for, for example. If this was a free model, you would only be able to see the outside of it. But... The thing is, sometimes with these free models, people will, like, put inappropriate things inside of them that you can only see if you, like, use the, like, free camera in the, uh, like, in Roblox Studio to go in and see what's inside, if there's anything inside of it. So, yeah. So basically, what's happening is people are putting, like, inappropriate stuff, and I'm talking, like, really, really inappropriate stuff that shouldn't be anywhere near Roblox, in these free models, and uploading them. They somehow get past Roblox's moderation, and then, when people put them into their game, even if it's, even if they don't publish the game, or even save it, uh, Roblox is like auto moderation or something just detects oh there's something bad in this game and they just ban the person who made the game while the free model still remains up you see where the problem is someone else uploads something then and this something it contains something very inappropriate and against Roblox's rules then when someone when an innocent unsuspecting developer puts that thing in their game uh, Roblox bans uh, the creator of the game but leaves the the inappropriate model and 
the person who uploaded it on the site. Now, that is a major problem. And it wouldn't be so bad if Appeals was actually competent and would actually give people their accounts back with this mistake, especially since especially since uh, similar situations have been happening since uh, as far back as 2019, since that was when Mr. Flint, or when, uh, when Flamingo, uh, on his Mr. Flim Flam account, which, his, which is his main account, got banned. Uh, so, yeah. And the thing is, that Roblox just straight up refuses because they think that, that you're the one who uploaded the inappropriate thing. That is not right. Now, those who have been watching my channel for a while might know that I am a major critic of Roblox's moderation system. Like, I mean, seriously, it's I've been saying for quite a while that it's pretty much the worst moderation system of any game, though, though now that Minecraft's moderation system is out and extremely terrible, it might not necessarily... Roblox might now be more of a contender for second worst. But still, but that's a topic for another video. Uh, anyway, the thing is, like, this is not how moderation should be handled. I mean, they should be tackling this at the root cause, especially since said root cause is, well... The models themselves, not the people who are putting them in their games, since they usually don't know what the heck they're putting in their games. Now, as for how you can avoid suffering the same fate as many other developers, and a few YouTubers, the main thing is to just try to avoid using Roblox free models for a while. I mean, like, even on an alt account, because sometimes Roblox will end up realizing, like, it, that what your main account is and ban that too. Especially if you complain about it on social media. Then they'll pretty much know for sure. Or you have them both under the same email address. So, yeah. Uh, so just to be on the safe side, don't use free models right now. If you're a developer or a YouTuber or, or just someone who's, uh, who's just playing around in Roblox Studio. Because a lot of people do that. Now, as for whether I think Roblox is aware of this problem, well, I'm pretty sure they are, since since this problem, or at least the very least a problem very similar to it, has existed since at least 2019. Uh, but the the thing is, they just haven't bothered to do anything about it, like many other problems on the site. I mean, heck, the Backwoods er, issue that I talked about, in, I think it was uh, two videos ago, uh, that they've known also known about since 2019 and refused to do anything about until it actually started causing problems. Uh, and keep in mind, this particular exploit has been causing a, a lot of problems over the years, and especially now that it's kind of come to the surface. So yeah, let's just hope that Roblox actually fixes this issue instead of trying to sweep it under the rug and pretty much uh, leave its victims out to dry. Uh, by pretty much just shooting down all their appeals and saying, uh, yeah, you definitely did this on purpose. We aren't going to give you back your account. Please do not make another ticket because we are not going to uh, reinstate it no matter how many tickets you, you make. So get noob. That's pretty much, I'm pretty sure that's pretty much what the, these Roblox appeals moderators are like. Uh, or at the very least what they mean behind their copy-pasted, uh, what do you call it, uh, copy-pasted templates. Uh, either that or they're just, hey, you know what, this is like too much of an effort to investigate. I'm just going to tell this person that they're on their own. They're not getting their account back. Uh, it's pretty much one of those two. But I'm kind of going a little bit off track. So in other words, be very careful about what you do in Roblox Studio, especially when it comes to free models, because you do not know what's hiding in seemingly innocent objects. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video explaining this whole, like, free models uh, issue, and, you know, just... And also, you know, explaining how to avoid getting your account banned by a free model. Uh, if you did, please be sure to leave a like. And if you really, really enjoyed it, please consider subscribing and, and joining my Roblox group and following me on Twitter. Links to all of those in the description down below. Anyway, 
Till next time, take care and have a good one.